Beans, the beans, the magical fruit. The more he eats, the more he toots. What up, Vendy Trendies? We're loading up, getting ready to go check out a couple of our machines. I got a text yesterday from the manager at the hotel where we have our machines. She had some concerns about pricing on our waters. Our waters, they're actually priced at $3 each, which is a bit steep, but it is a hotel. And they've been at that price for a while, but I guess they've had a couple complaints. So we're gonna lower the price down to $2. We're still making money. She also has some concerns about variety, so we're gonna put some extra chips in there. We're kinda running low on stock right now, so we'll stop at Sam's, pick some stuff up. And today we're also gonna empty all of our change. I've let it fill up a little bit. We should have quite a bit of change, so I'll need to bring something to put all our change in. Beans, you wanna go to the bank? So we're on our way to Sam's Club, and I wanted to touch on a subject that I was really confused about before I started all this, and that is business accounts and business credit cards and how they work, and do you have to separate all of your charges personally from your business, and I had a ton of questions about it. So basically, I started an LLC for this vending machine business. So we opened up a separate bank account with a local credit union, but I was curious, like, Let's say if I needed, to, in a pinch, I didn't have my other card, if I needed to make a charge on that account, would it mess everything up legally if I, let's say, made a personal charge on our vending account? And the answer to that technically is no, but you have to be organized and everything else you do. So the right way to do it would be to balance the books, as they say, and know your costs and revenue and profits, um, and not have any excess charges on that account throw any of that off. If you're not <clears throat> super particular about that, all you have to do is make sure you know your expenses coming out of that account, and then your profit will be what's left over in that account. If you go over that profit number, you'll end up having to either deposit money into that account to pay for your goods or counterbalance something one way or another. So things like that are fine. Just be careful what amount you're, you're charging to that card. And it is definitely convenient to have another payment option sometimes. I wonder if we can put that on the business card. All right, so we're here at Sam's. A couple people have some concerns about our variety, and part of the issue is that uh, you just can't get some stuff at some times. Like right now, uh, Sam's doesn't even have any Gatorade of a kind that we need, like just solid red or blue cases of Gatorade. So you just have to be able to adapt to that and switch things up, get new products when you need to, try new things out. And Sam's does a pretty good job of getting new things in if they're out of something else, you'll see some other options. So we'll get out of here and go restock some stuff and grab some change. So a lot has actually happened since I've checked in with you guys last. I ended up partnering up with this guy named Rajan and he fills my machines for me and uh, we split the profit from the machines. So he fills everything, he lets me know what we need, I order everything to my house and then he picks it up and fills them up. And then um, if there's any big issues like with the machines and stuff, I'll come out and check them out. Like for example, today I got a text yesterday from the manager at the hotel where we have our machine. And there's been a couple issues. The one drink machine I think is not working right now. It's got an out of order sign on it. I think it might just be jammed up. And then she was concerned about um, the pricing uh, of the water. So we we're gonna lower the price of the waters and a couple other little minor things. So. Uh, I'm swinging by the hotel, I just picked up the keys from Rajan and everything's been going great, sales are going up and he does a great job keeping everything full. Um, so yeah, let's go check out what's wrong with this drink machine. Alright, looks like we got an out order sign on here. Everything's lit up. I wonder if it's just jammed up. We'll have to check it out inside. Definitely not cold. It looks like the refrigeration is off, which is not a good sign. I can try to reset this. Hope the whole thing doesn't just give out on us. So I'm gonna try and cycle power on the whole machine, see if it does anything. But we're not getting any refrigeration. Alright, so the power cable's back here. I just heard something kick on. It sounds like a fan. Yep, we got 
and quite tall. It's cool. But I think we're okay. I mean, we'll give it a little bit of time to see if it cools everything. But yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, but sometimes it just trips out. I gotta reset it. All right, so I got everything reset. Everything is filled. We've got multiple selections now. A little bit more of a choice for people. Water's changed. Change the price of the water to two dollars. Put some of these new chips in here. We'll see how they sell. Ten star. And then the drink machine is cold now, so I waited a little while to make sure the refrigeration kicked on. I don't know. If, I don't know what happened. Something tripped out and it just lost the uh, refrigeration kicked off so I just cycled power on it and it works so we're good this is the benefit of having a vending machine at a hotel you can use these carts you're basically your own bellboy so I just gave the janitor a couple dr. peppers and he called me a gentleman and a scholar just incredible things happen when you start buying vending machine businesses Alright, so we're at our warehouse location. I got the bucket. Super professional. Just gonna walk through here with the dam. Look, like I'm gonna start washing my car. Fill up some change and just peace out. So here's the final take on the change collection. That's from three machines. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think the total is. So the total for the coins was 311.80. The cash came out actually to more than what I counted, like 20 or 30 dollars more. But I'm not asking any questions. It was uh, 473. So we got that deposited. I appreciate you guys coming along with me today. We've got more videos coming. We just went to New York City and we found an NFT vending machine. So we're gonna be posting a video about that and about our trip. So. Stay tuned, we'll be posting another video soon.